Okay, so now I'll start translating this into code. The, the update part is kind of given right here, right? The um, x left is always going to be x center minus half height, y top, y center minus half height, x right, x center plus half height, and y bottom, y center plus half height. So I'm just going to copy this. I think I can copy this into my update. Uh, we need our semicolons, right? And let me format that. Okay. So, um, as long as we're, you know, for whatever half height we're given, um, this is the way we're going to set our, our um, values for, for left, top, right, and bottom. Okay. So now, and then remember what we said for drawing the square. What we want to do is we want to, and, and I'll use draw lines for this because we've been, um, I think it's just good practice to just um, work with draw lines. So we'll, we'll go from um, x left, y top. So first, our first line we'll draw is going to be from x left, y top, to um, x right, y top. So let's draw that. So we can say G draw line from X left Y top to X right Y top. All right, and that'll give us our line going across the top. And just for kicks, why don't we? I'm going to copy this into our paint portion. This is eventually going to be a loop, but I, I'm going to um, pop this in. Let me say paste. I will draw a square, and uh, square wants uh, the graphics as a as input, the graphics object. So I have that graphics G right here, so I can pass that in. Oh, and I forgot um, to call my update also, didn't I? So I need to update my bounds. So let me copy that. Because otherwise, this X left and all this stuff, these are going to be zero because they haven't been set to anything. So I have to make sure I update my bounds before I do any drawing. So let's do that. And paste. And we'll update it with our, our given half height. And we can always play around with this later, but copy that. And paste that. Okay, so we're updating the bounds to one, and then we're going to draw the square. This is going to be kind of tiny, though. Well, let's just see what it looks like. So let's run this project. Let's see. Will that work? Yeah, it looks pretty teeny tiny. So why don't we, um, just for... Um, practice sake, why don't we make this be, um, well, let's make it 100 and see what that looks like. Okay, so now we have a bigger line. Okay, so this is our, our top left, so this looks right, right? This is our top, uh, our x left, y top, to um, x right, y top. So let's try drawing the other lines here. So what do we want to do next? Let's see. Uh, let's just kind of go around the circle here. Um, 
So let's do now, let's do um, x rate y top down to um, x rate y bottom. Okay, so let's, in our, in our, we're still in our draw square method, right? Because we've only drawn so far one line. Just copy this and change it. Okay, so let's go. So now we're going to go from x right, oops, x right y top to x right y bottom. Okay, run that. Okay, good. Okay, we went um, x left y top, x right y top. Um, and then from x right y top to x right y bottom. Okay, so I think we can kind of finish this guy off at this point. Um, let's do, so now we want to go from this point, right, from x right y bottom to x left y bottom, right? Let's just double check that. So, so far we've gone from x left y top to x right y top. And then when we went from x right y top to x right y bottom. So now we're going to go from x right y bottom to x left y bottom. Okay. Let's run that. Okay, that looks good. And so now we just have to close it off. We have to just have to go from... Um, x left y bottom to x left y top. So from x left y bottom all the way back to x left y top. Okay, let's just make sure. Okay, there's our square. So now we've drawn the square, so now we want to draw the diamond that's going to go inside it. And let's see, so that one, what do we need to do? Let's see. For the diamond, Okay, so for the diamond, we can do x center y top to x right y center to x center y bottom to x left y center and then back to x center y top. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of fill those in. I think I think those should make pretty good sense at this point. Let's copy this and. Paste it in. So we're going, we're starting at x center y top and going to um, x right y center. Right? Just double check. x center y top, x right y center, yeah. And then x center y bottom. Okay. So x center, so actually we're going from here, from x right y center, now, to x center y bottom. And then from there, then we go from x center y bottom to x left y center. Okay, from x center y bottom
to um, so from x center y bottom to x left y center. And then okay, um we have one more. We have to go from x center y bottom to x left y center. Is that the one? Oh no no. From x left y center to x center y top. That's the guy. Okay, so basically from the last point we just got to and go back up to the first point where we started from X center Y top. So I'm going to copy that and paste it in here. Okay, so that should do it for our um, there it is. Oh, oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to call that draw diamond method. So let's do that. Draw diamond. And that one also needs the graphics context. Okay, so let's try again here. There we go. Okay, so that's the first step. We got those two, and then we have to figure out how we're going to put it in a loop and um, make a whole bunch of these. And we're going to start actually with a small one. I made a, a a great big one just for test purposes. But so in the next video we'll. We'll start it out small and, and figure out how to make it um, draw a bunch of these.